So grabbing the Welcome back to my channel it's your girl Deborah back again with another video for you guys so today's makeup video we have a lot of things going on we have a jeep going on we have a try on going on just name it we have everything going on in this video today um, so um, before we get started with this video I really don't want to say much about the things I have going on in this video because it's just gonna take forever before we get into it but um, yeah before we get started with this video as always guys don't forget to smash and hit the like button as always always and don't forget to also subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel it's easy to subscribe and it's free new and interesting makeup look I'm always going to be coming your way like I always say and when you do subscribe make sure you also turn on your bell button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload any new video on this channel and when you do turn on your bell button make sure you also click on turn on or post notification bell um, so that whenever a new video is up, you'll be the first person to know because sometimes um, you need to turn them things on for you to know, basically. And make sure you also comment in the comment box below if you guys have any requests of any video you want to see next on my channel. I'll try my best to get that done for you guys as always. And uh, without any further ado, I'm going to let you guys go and we're going to jump into this beautiful makeup look right here. And I'll see you guys in my next one. So unfortunately guys, when I was recording, I didn't know that my mic was not plugged. So for like two minutes of this video, um, you guys are not going to be able to hear what I'm saying, but my mouth is going to be moving. But later on, you, um, you know, the mic started working because I ended up fixing it. But um, for us to start up today, I'm going to start by priming up my face with my um rihanna fenty beauty face primer and then we're going to move on to our new foundation we're going to be trying for this video today which is the becca ultimate coverage 24 hours foundation and i am using the shade maple this foundation right here is a really really full coverage foundation and so you guys can see what i mean uh, i'm showing you guys like pumping it out on my beauty sponge how thick it looks and um, i feel like um from the claim of what it says in the box that it's a 24 hour foundation i think it might be able to last that long because i don't do wear test on this channel yet but from the consistency of the foundation i think it could actually last that long so now we're going to be concealing my face using my Fenty Beauty Concealer in 360. So once that is all done, I'm going to be cream contouring with my Stila Corrector Stick in tan. So for what I've seen so far while doing my makeup, I've noticed this foundation is a very, very heavy consistency foundation. Applying it on... Um, was not a lot easy like i had to spray my face down before i could actually blend it flawlessly but still from what i'm seeing the foundation is a good coverage foundation now that we are done with that we're going to be setting our under eye concealer with the fanti beauty banana loose powder today i'm going to be bronzing up my face basically and to help me do that, I'm going to be using my Makeup Gallery um, Matte Bronzer right here. So now we're going to basically uh, set the whole of my face. And to do that today, I'm going to be using my Christina Button Loose Powder. Yeah, so I'm going to be using this to set my face. And I'm going to be using a powder puff it came with as well. So far guys, I am loving the finish look right here with the powder sets and everything. This is a beautiful foundation. Uh, it's basically just flawless. I love this. This is beautiful guys. Anyway, so now we're going to quickly move on to our eyes. So as always, I'm just going to put a little bit of my Rihanna Fenty Beauty Banana Powder underneath my eyes so it can catch any fallout. 
for the eye makeup we are going to be doing now for my eyes today i'm going to be using my revolution concealer um this is in the shade white this is the lightest they have because i want this eye makeup look we're going to be doing today to stand out um going to use this to basically prime. So before we get started, one thing I want to introduce to you guys are these brushes right here. These brushes are from AliExpress. Funny enough, I only got this for £2 something. I can't remember something. Or it's something P. £2 something P. And it was free shipping as well. And these brushes, like when I tell you the quality of these brushes are amazing, I'm not joking. So we're going to be using this brush set today so you guys can see what I mean. And um, these are um, 12 brushes right here. This is a set of 12 brushes for £2 something. So let's just say £2.99. I know it's less than that, but let's say £2.99 for 12 brush um, brushes in a set. Funny enough, these are all labelled. Like, I don't know why I'm saying it this way. You know what? Let's, let me read it out the way it's labelled. A, a medium shadow brush, brush 2. Um, this one right here says it's a short shadow brush 3. And then and the next one is this one it says flawless concealer brush five so this is a concealer brush it says so and this one says is a tippled blending brush and is in six so basically these are all labeled basically to let you know what is what if you're a beginner with eye makeup very nice beginner friendly brush if you guys want to get this i'm going to be linking it the seller's link in the description box below so you guys should check them out i'm not sponsored um, when I see something nice, I like to share it with you guys. I'm gonna be using this for our eye makeup today, so you guys can see. I might not be using the label because I tell you what is what. I'm just gonna pick the one I feel like is gonna help me do what I want to do today. So I feel like the first one I'm gonna go for is gonna be the concealer brush. This right here, it's quite big and it's gonna help me blend this out nicely, basically. So blending this upwards like so. Before they start getting tried on us here, let's quickly jump into the most important part of this video today, which is eyes. I shadow, I really love it. So this is a beauty glaze palette. This palette is actually one of the well-known brands on AliExpress. I've seen a lot of YouTubers um, buy that product and use it. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, this would be amazing um, for summer because it has a whole lot of oh, a whole lot of um colors like from neutral to warm to cold tone like everything is in here and for what i saw trying to compare this to the james um, charles palette all the shades that are in james charles palette are also here i don't know how the pigments of this palette is that's why we're going to try it out today but for what i noticed um it's actually arranged just like the way it is in james pa um, charles palette as well and beauty glaze is a well-known um, makeup brand on aliexpress and their products from what i've seen so far are quite pigmented from other videos i've seen so that's why i got this today and this is why i want us to try this i really don't even know what eye makeup we're going for today so um i would say let me quickly get one eyes done yeah and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show you guys how i got it done with the other eyes because i want to play a bit with these colors i really don't know what i want yet so. okay guys so this is what i've managed to come up with right here uh this is beautiful um i didn't think it was gonna turn out this good um really liking that so i decided to also do my eyebrows like finish up this eyes right here so yeah i'm gonna sh now show you guys how to get this eyes on this eye so let's get started like i already said i didn't really use brushes the way it was described for you to use i just used it the way i felt like using it so i'm just gonna tell you guys which one i used so this one is blending brush number seven and the first shade i'm gonna go into in the beauty glaze um pressed powder is this orange shade right here uh my concealer is dried anyways but we're still gonna carry on and i'm you know that's for me to get a very nice pigment since my concealer is dry already um we're just gonna basically pack this on instead of blending like so so i'm gonna grab this one this brush this time around is the eye crease brush so i'm gonna go with that one next and i'm gonna go for the yellow basically like so as you can see i'm just basically packing this down because we want a very very pigmented look today 
gonna grab another brush but the brushes are dirty already this one is called tapered um, blending brush number six it's kind of angled right there and this time around I am picking up the black shade in the beauty glaze palette which is this right here it's gonna go into our crease and place it down like so okay I think that's enough black so I have a clean brush right here for the black I mean, it doesn't look that clean anymore and this is the contour brush right here but I'm gonna be using this to help me blend this together with the orange which is placed down like so so now I'm gonna pick up this red right here and this is going right in the middle of the black orange which is placed down just to have a nice blend of colors like so So now that we're done with that, I'm going to grab my um, Revolution Concealer again, the white one right here, to help me cut my crease. So let's go for that. I'm just going to put a good amount right here. And I'm just going to do that. So it just gives me like an outline. So this time around, the brush I'm going to be using is the Medium Eyeshadow Brush Number 2. It looks something like that. So we're going to use this to cut our crease basically. So with the crease I'm not rubbing, I'm basically tapping as well. So we can just get the pigment we really want to. Now that I feel like that crease is cut to the way I want it, so I'm gonna go into another brush. This one is the Shot Eyeshadow Brush 3. And we are basically going back to our yellow color, which is this right here. This yellow in particular has been calling out to me all day. So I'm gonna make good use of it, basically. So packing this on, while our concealer is still a bit damp. Going back to our, what's the brush again? blending brush number seven this time around we are picking up the reddish color right here to help us blend into the yellow we have going on it right there in the middle and then all the way to the end now i'm gonna grab this brush right here this is the large eyeshadow brush number one and i'm basically blending this reddish color into a uh, yellow like so so now i'm gonna grab the position stippling brush this one um the contour brush actually number nine we're gonna go back into the black in the beauty glaze just to darken it up a bit at the outer corner and bring it in as well like so And basically that's the end of the eye makeup exactly so easy so fast what we're gonna be doing we're gonna quickly line our eyes so we're not lining it properly what I'm the reason why I'm gonna be using an eyeliner is because as you can see there's a bit of the white concealer in my um, lashes so basically we're just going in with the liner just to darken that area up for us a bit So now we're going to be going into our Max Factor Mascara. Ooh, I'm going to be applying this to my top lashes for the time being. I'm going to be using my Pinky Ghost eyelashes again. I really like this lashes. It's, it's one of like my favorite lashes. While our lashes is getting ready to be glued on, we're going to quickly do our eyebrows basically. So I'm going to be using the eyelash and eyebrow brush and this is the 12 so this is basically the last one last brush because it's a set of 12 so just going to brush my eyebrows into place and i'm going to be using my anastasia beverly hills eyebrow pomade and this is in dark brown i'm going to be going into my second brush this one is the primer one and i'm going to be going into a black gel eyeliner basically just help me darken those areas that went up to my 
skin area. Let's move on to finishing our eyebrows real quick. So going back to my Fenty Beauty Concealer, I'm just gonna quickly just tidy up my eyebrows basically. Grab a clear eyebrow gel. Okay guys, now we're gonna quickly do our under eyes and to help us line our waterline today, I'm gonna be using my Miss Rose um, Eye Liner. Which I was using for the dark liquid eyeliner for my eyes, which is this. I'm just gonna use that to blend this out quickly. So we're just gonna grab the shadow brush. I'm just gonna start blending. into the beauty glaze palette and I am picking up this red shade right here first I'm gonna use this one instead to grab the orange shade we were playing with today which is this one right here again so guys now that we're done with the eyes and the eyebrow everything I'm just loving the vibe right now so we're going to quickly finish up the face and to help us do that I'm going to be using my Maybelline Matte Plus Poreless Powder in Caramel 350. So I'm going to go back to my Max Factor Mascara and I'm going to be applying this to my bottom lashes quickly. I'm gonna quickly highlight my face. Ooh, I remember I didn't bring my highlighter brush. So we are gonna have to use what we got. So to highlight my face today, I'm gonna to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sundry palette right here. And I'm gonna be going into, which one are we in the mood for? So grabbing the final brush that we haven't used today, which is the small fan brush right here. We have no choice because I didn't grab my fan brush. So I'm going to be using bronze today because I just want to be bronze literally. We're going to quickly set our face and we're going to be using my elf setting spray lately i've been loving this it's a bit dirty right now because of my dirty hand i'll be lining my lips with my ella mascal eyeliner um this is a brown color i told you guys it's really nice for my shade so this is what i used to line my lips as my brown color For my lipstick today, I'm going to be using my NYX Diamond Sparkle Lipstick. This is what it looks like right here. This one is in the shade Sparkling Steel. I'm going to quickly go over that with a lip gloss. And this is the clear lip gloss by L'Oreal Paris. Okay guys, so we are basically done with this look right here. I'm not going to lie here. Yeah, I am happy with this um two products we just tried out like this is making me look like a whole different person and as always before you guys leave make sure you subscribe and make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoy it and we're gonna jump into the slow motion and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys